Now is the time to understand in detail the terminologies which are related to the linear programming problems. So basically the linear programming problem would be such that it is a classification or it is related to the optimization problems. The optimization problems would focus on the maximization, minimization of certain things like profit you have to maximize, losses you have to minimize, uses of resources you have to minimize. So the general description or the general form of this would be what? Let's see. So it says optimize z is equal to c1x1 plus c2x2 plus c3x3 and so on till cn xn where c1, c2, c3 and so on till cn are the constants and x1, x2, x3 and so on till xn are the decision variables that is the name. What is the name? It is decision variables and as the name suggests these will help you in the further decision process or the decision making process. Then what is this whole thing called as? This whole thing means z which you have to maximize or minimize means optimize is called as the objective function. Now what is the name like? It is objective. So it tells you basically what is your objective or what is your intention or what is your purpose behind forming this uh, mathematical formulation. And there would be nothing easy. There is nothing easy in this world which can be achieved like that only. You have to have some restrictions, some constraints and when you actually uh, follow those and when you take care of those only then you can succeed. So with regard to the real world, there are these constraints which we write st which is subject to. So this objective function is subject to certain constraints and these constraints are basically inequalities like z is equal to ax plus by is your function which is known as your objective function, x and y are your decision variables, a and b are your constants. So it is like that. Then there are certain conditions, certain restrictions like I say I have 2x plus 5y less than equal to 20. I have 5x plus 8y greater than equal to 16. These all are linear in equations and these are the conditions which can be there in the problems. So subject to the conditions a11, x1, a12, x2 and so on till a1 and xn either less than equal to b1 or equal to b1 or greater than equal to depends. Now these are the conditions and these conditions are known as constraints because these conditions impose some restrictions and we cannot directly proceed towards our solution. So these are called as constraints. Then the next that we have is what? Non-negative constraints. What are those called as? Non-negative constraints. Non-negative constraints are the special type of constraints which can never be negative. If I say number of chairs, can they be negative? Never. They can be zero but they can never be negative. So such kind of constraints are called as non-negative constraints say x1, x2, x3 and so on greater than equal to zero. So this is how a general mathematical formulation would look like and with the help of this and the terminologies that we started like objective function and your non-negative constraints, your constraints, your decision variables. Let's move further in this world of linear programming.